Getting a prescription, a local woman says her dog was almost killed when the pharmacist gave them the wrong medication. Tonight, Caitlin Ross reports why it could be so easily missed. Okay, buddy, I don't know. We're going to go to the vet, okay? You can hear the panic in Carolyn O'Brien's voice when she found Ruger shaking on the floor at 3 a.m. If you could have seen him, he was unable to walk, hold his head up. Um, he couldn't, his eyes were rolling back. At first, I thought he was having a stroke. She rushed Ruger to the vet and got there just in time. They literally met us on a gurney and rushed him in and had to save his life. Um, he was in bad shape. He had bottomed out and it only took two doses of that medication to do that to him. Ruger was taking medication to fight an infection after he had his leg amputated. The vet wrote the script for the medication. I took it to my local Kroger pharmacy and they filled an incorrect prescription for Ruger uh, that has almost killed him. It was the fourth round of the antibiotic, and she did think something was off. I presumed it was the generic version, you know, and so I just trusted that that was the right medication. The names of the medications are remarkably similar, but the effects couldn't be more different. The vet gave her dog an incredibly rare medication meant for humans infected with malaria. It truly almost killed him, and to see him tremor and convulse across his whole body on the floor, unable to move or get up, was it was tough. Kroger has apologized and is working with O'Brien to help with some of the medical bills. It costs nearly $4,000 to save Ruger's life. Now Carolyn is warning everyone to be careful. Check your prescription. Triple check it, double check it, and check it again. She says Ruger still has tremors in his face and is fighting the side effects of the incorrect medication. But it won't slow this three-legged puppy down. So he's a rare swimming pit bull that is just happy. He's the happiest dog every morning. I want to be like Ruger every morning. All right, that was Caitlin Ross reporting. By the way, Kroger is calling it a rare error, and they're now working to retrain that team at that same location to make sure they're following the right procedures.